አርባቶቻችን ባለፈው ጊዜ እንደገለጽኩላችሁ ዛሬ ሁለት እንግዶችን ይጄላችሁ ቀርብ ያለ ሆይ ከኦፕሽን ሴክሹዋል ሃውስ ራውልና ፍሎረንስ አብሮን ከኔ ጋር ይገኛሉ እንግዲህ ቀጥታ ወደ ኢንተርቪው እንገባለን ኦኬ ሮ ኤንድ ፍሎረንስ ቴንክ ዩ ቬሪ ማች ፎር ካሚንግ ሄር ፎር ዩ ዊሊንግነስ ቱ ካም ሄር ኤንድ ቱ ዱ አን ኢንተርቪው ዊዝ ሚ um so let's start from the introduction right so first you introduce yourself and your agency what you do for the agency and something like that so what shall i start roll or florence okay. so uh, my name is roll tika and i work in the multicultural sexual health education program or options sexual health association and uh our agency option sexual health association is a sexual health education agency in edmonton okay good so my name is florence and i also work with the multicultural um sexual health program okay with options yes with the, options. We, yeah what do you do like you say this specifically for multicultural right mm-hmm. so what kind of service do you provide for those people well i work with uh, males yeah specifically uh, okay and these are newcomer males okay so that who are uh, new to edmonton mostly <laughs> and uh, i provide uh, sexual health workshops for them and uh, i also provide resources for them Okay. Such as uh information. Okay. On uh, sexual health issues. Okay. So you say the newcomers so and you provide workshops. Yes. Where do you get those people? How do you reach them? Like Well, for uh for myself, I uh I go to different English as a second language schools. Okay. ASL class. I okay. go to different non-profit agencies that provide services for newcomers such as uh the Mennonite Center for newcomers okay okay so uh, how often do you uh, organize workshops and uh, trainings for those people well the workshops are uh ongoing okay it depends on uh when the english as a second language schools want us to come in to do the workshops okay also uh the the non-profit agencies it's up to them to invite us when they're ready mm-hmm. for us to present to, to their go clients. and present yeah. and usually what kind of talk topics do you talk about like what are the topics for men specifically for men like for males who are adults uh we offer a variety of topics so for example one of the topics that is very popular is a uh, sexually transmitted in- infections okay. information on sexually transmitted infections there's some other topics also too such as uh marital relationships in a new society in a new culture which uh, is very popular with married couples yeah. and it's a uh, a workshop that we look at uh, the different issues that married couples face when they move to a new culture in new places. Places, a new society i think that's very important because we've had um, a question last month um somebody asked us to talk about uh, relationship marriage divorce something like that so i've actually promised uh, last month to invite someone to talk about relationship issues i'm glad to hear that you guys are also addressing that um uh, so it's it's very it's very interesting yeah. florence so how about you for women Oh uh, yeah. So I am in charge of the women. I'm going to have to deliver workshops which need information that is female specific. That's what I try to do. <clears throat> so apart from giving information, I also give support on sexual health related issues for the multicultural community um living in Edmonton and the surrounding areas. So um just like well, one of the hot topics that we treat is um especially in the ESL and link classes mm-hmm. um the names of the sexual organs because it's very important that we know the english names so that we can um we'll be familiar with what is happening around us mm-hmm. and also be a support for our children when they come back from school 
and also for themselves whenever yes, they go to their family physician to talk about their sexual health it, it's easier for people to explain about their body if they know the name if Definitely. not then that's what that's that's a good one Definitely. Okay? and especially because um, in most of our original cultures uh, we are not very comfortable with these um, words, words yeah. and, and you know the functions of our bodies and stuff like that it is a way to make them to empower them to be able to talk about their bodies and also to be able to understand some of the issues around them because here you know um, sexual health is a bit more relaxed than what we have back home you know in our cultures so it's a way of letting them feel comfortable about what is happening not really to be part of it but to understand it so that they can make informed decisions as to where they want to be you know vis-a-vis -vis the sexual health um the way it's presented in, in canada good um so you mentioned that you work with the asl uh, uh class people and with Mennonites as well, for yes. immigrants. Is there any other sexual health agencies uh, in Edmonton? Do you work with them? Well, we always work, uh, in the past we have worked with the uh, Sexual Assault Center. We've worked with HIV Edmonton. Uh, we have worked with the Multicultural Health Brokers Corps and also Action for Healthy Communities. And uh, we, one of our aims is to continue to work with these agencies in the future. In the future. Yeah. So, so for example, in the past, we have worked with uh, the Multicultural Health Brokers Co-op, HIV Edmonton, mm -hmm. to uh, design a, a workbook about uh, HIV, what's about, mm -hmm. and uh, where a person could get treated if they have this illness. Okay. So yeah, I think we've also worked. Um, we also work with um, the link classes associated with the Catholic services okay. and the Catholic schools. And we also work with the mainstream schools, especially where we have um, after-school classes involving um, children from the newcomer societies. Yes. I know, I know that you guys are mostly involved in education and awareness areas, but as an agency option, do you guys provide direct service for the clients like birth control, condom distribution, um, something like that, like direct service? Yes, we provide uh, free condoms to the public. Okay. We also provide uh, sexual health counseling, which is free. Counseling, okay. Yeah. Also, a uh, free pregnancy test. So, if a female thinks that uh, she's, she's pregnant, prepared. she can come here and get a free pregnancy test. She doesn't have to buy that expensive no. pregnancy. That's a good, no. Kate. Okay, that's good to know that. Good. So, how do you recommend a woman to come for pregnancy test? Like, um, I mean, the the kids, the pregnancy test kids, they have specific dates. Some of them can actually detect as early as uh, three weeks. So, is there any specification with that, or just yeah? Once you miss your period, then once you miss your period, you can come over. And it's, then it's, come it's over. as sensitive as that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. About a few days after, maybe five days after, you can come for, you know, pregnancy, and then. pregnancy test. Yes. And once we determine the results of the pregnancy, we give you counseling and help you to make a decision as to where to go from there. So, when you decide, we make we give you a referral. Um, to agencies that we work around with. For example, abortion. If the after the test, if the woman wants abortion, do you do referral? For that? Yeah, we do referral. We don't do abortions yet. Yeah, yeah we, only, okay. we only refer. Yes. Is there any abortion clinic in here? Yes, there is one abortion clinic that serves Edmonton and surrounding cities. It's only one. There's only one. Okay. How about hospitals? Do they do push therapeutic abortion? Um, therapeutic. Yeah, depending on where you are at, right? Okay. But. It's I've heard Edmonton hospitals they mm -hmm. don't do abortion if it is not like um, um, a risk related. Yes. yes, of course nobody. Yeah, you have to go to an abortion clinic. I mean, that raises another question. I mean, in different parts of Canada, it's different. So, do you do some kind of advocacy as well, like to make access the access more available for women, like? I don't know. What's your involvement? Not directly. Not, not directly. Okay. Yes, not directly. We only use a service that's available. So okay, but advocacy is not that much. Not that much. We do a lot of advocacy. We did a lot of advocacy uh, concerning um, birth control. Birth so that control. Is what we are what did for. you do? Can you tell me? Oh, about well, that? birth control. Um, like for example, uh, 
this organization has been in Edmonton for 50 years. Okay. And it started in the 1960s as an advocate for birth control. So, um, to what, make it available for people, to make it available or for to make people. it free, because at that time uh, there were certain laws that made it very difficult for people to receive uh, birth control. So uh, that is one of the funding goals of this organization to to advocate for access to birth control. Good. Is there any agency that provides free birth control in Edmonton for women who do not have money to buy birth control? There's the uh, birth control center, which is part of uh, Alberta Health Health Services. Okay. They provide uh, birth control at a reduced cost. A reduced cost. Yeah, so okay. there, there are different uh, contraceptive methods that could be uh, available from this uh, organization at a reduced price. But not free. The only free thing is condoms. The only free thing is condoms. <laughs> yes. yes. But for people who do not afford, who can't afford to buy those birth control methods, like where do they go? Like, well, the, we only have the discounted, you know, discounted. birth control. Yeah, you have to go to the birth control unit. By, by chance, I don't know. You don't have to know the price. But do you know the price for, like, for example, for the PO or something like that in here? Uh, we can you give, don't have to know. But yeah, just we can give you the number for the birth, birth control uh, center. You can give them a call because sometimes the price changes. Okay. Yes. Do you have the phone number just in case if people are listening and if you want to... Um, Take yeah, the phone can, number, but can, they can call you guys. Uh, they can call us. Yeah. yeah, they can call us and we'll give them um, the phone numbers. Or they can call 211 and ask for the phone number for birth yes. control center. Also, too, um, if a male wants to go for testing for a sexually transmitted infection and he is uh, afraid to go, uh, he can give me a call here. Okay. Uh, what's your phone number? Uh, the phone number here is 780-423-3737 and uh, my extension here is 208 and uh, we can make arrangements for myself to accompany him to the sexually Does transmitted you? infection clinic. Clinic? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. How about Florence? You do that too? You have yes. to find uh, women to go to the Yes, class. If they, they need the, the, support. the service. And is it covered by the Alberta Health Card? The it is. Service? Yes, but if you go to the SCI clinic also, it's free for those who don't have the card. Uh, the health card? Yes. So for sexual transmitted infection clinics, people with no immigration in ta uh, status or with no Alberta Health Card can go and get treatment. Yes, yes. they can okay. go and get tested. They can either call and book an appointment or walk in. Mm -hmm. Walk in? Yes. Drop in, okay. Yeah. How about abortion? Do you have any information about that? Like yeah. for people who do not have... Um, abortion, you have to make the call yourself and mm -hmm. book an appointment. Appointment? Yes, yes. it's strictly by appointment. I know that it's covered mm -hmm. by the uh, the health card, but what if, if the people do not have a health card? Do they have to pay, or you is there any? Pay. You have to pay, or if you are able to get into the clinic, mm -hmm. there are times when um, they can waive it, or they can talk about the payment plan. So it all depends. If if you're bold enough to get in there, you can talk your way through either to have a payment plan or something like that. Yes. Otherwise, you'd have to pay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, I think we finished our time. Is there anything you would like to add? Um, I want you guys to give your phone number because if they have any questions, they can call you directly and ask you for your information or service. Um, other than that, if you'd like to add um, any information or anything, uh, you're welcome to do so. Yes. Um, so if uh, someone wants to contact me, they can call uh, 780-423-3737 and my extension is uh, 208. Uh, usually we are here from 8.30 to 4.30 okay. and uh, we have a, a lunch break from 12 to 1 so the office is closed from 12 to 1. Good, okay. Yeah, so we are located on 9912 Avenue and 106 Street. 
and our number is 50. Yes, yeah, so 9912 106th Street, number 50. And so my phone number is also 780 423 3737, extension 206. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate what you're doing for our community. I believe that uh, the best approach for sexual health is through community education and community awareness than clinical intervention. And what you're doing is really important for our community. So thank you very much again. Um, thank you very much again. I'm not Thank you. Thank you. No jirate male juru ken ke defte Ayo galat ken ke kamini de bisa Omre ki ya goto Siama sifar sa Garasi 
ላይበርስ ኮንትሮል ፍሪ ማግኔት አይቻልም ወይ በነጻ በሕዝብ ካርድ ለሌላቸው ሰዎች ወይም ደግሞ ኢሚግሬሽን ስታተስ ለሌላቸው ሰዎች በርስ ኮንትሮል ቢፈልጉ ብር ባይኖራቸው የት ነው ማግኔት የሚችሉት እንዴት ነው እየጠየቀ የነበርና የተመለሰልን መልስ ያው ፕራይሱን ሪዲውስ ማድረግ እንደሚቻል ወይ ደግሞ ቅናሽ ዋጋ እንደሚሰጥ ነው ግን አሁን ሌላው ደግሞ ኢንፎርሜሽን ራውል ያለው ደግሞ ሌላ ኢንፎርሜሽን አለኝ ይያለኝ ነው እስቲ ደግሞ ከሱን እንሰማዋለን ማለት ነው so raw uh, you say there is another option for birth control yes if a, a newcomer to edmonton cannot afford to pay for the birth control method mm-hmm. they should that person should still go to the uh, birth control center mm-hmm. and uh, the nurse and the doctor they will decide if that person should receive the birth control method for free for free so there is a still option to get free if they do not have money if they prove that they don't have money yes. then they can get it for free from the birth control center yes good good information uh, florence do you want to add on that No, I think I think that's I, think it. I mean like um the most important thing is just be brave enough to go to the best control center. Mm-hmm. And if you are brave enough to go there, mm-hmm. you're more likely to get it for free if you can prove your point. Yeah. Um getting it free doesn't happen on the phone. Okay. You have to go there. They person. have to go in person and yeah. prove that they don't have money. Definitely. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. አድማጮቻችን በድጋሚ እንኳን ለናቶች ቀን በሰላም አደረሳችሁ ስካውን ባቀረብናቸው ፕሮግራሞች ዘና እንዳላችሁ ተስፋ እናደርጋለን ሰምና ወርቅንን በከልብና መሰግናለን ባቀረብችላችሁ ፕሮግራም ጥሩ የሆነ ዕውቀት እንደገበያችሁ ተስፋ እናደርጋለን ሙዚቃዎቻችን እንግዲህ እናቶችን ቀን በማስመልከት እናተኮርናቸው ሙዚቃዎቻችን በኦሮሜኛ አዮ ያለ ተጫውተልን አቡሽ ዘለቀ ነበር አዮ ማለት እናት ማለት ነው እንግዲህ እንዲ ይያልን እንቀጥላለን አሁን ደግሞ ትንሽ ማስተዋቂያ አለን ማስተዋቂያው የአወር ኔሽን on mission የሚባል ድርጅት ነው እና ምንድነው ብለዛሬ ሳምንት በቀኑ May 17 2014 ነው ዝግጅት አዘጋጅቷልኝ እናቶችን በማስመልከት የእናቶችን ቀን በማስመልከት በዚ ፕሮግራሙ ሙዚክ ኤንድ ኢንተርቴይንመንት ባይ ወርልድ ሪከርድ ዲጄ ሰርቪሰስ ፋሽን ሾው ኬኖት ስፒከርስ ፓኔል ቢትዩን ማዘር ኤንድ ቻይልድ ዶር ፕራይዝስ ማች ሞር አለ የመግቢያው አጋ አዳልት አድሚሽን 20 ብር ነው ቺልድረን ኦቨር 10 10 ዶላር ነው አንደር 10 ፍሪ ነው ዲነር አለ ዲነሩ የሚጀምረው ከ6 ፒኤም ጀምሮ ነው እና አራሻ 111 113 አብ 113 ስትሬት ነው ማንኛውም እንግዲህ እናቶች ልጆቻችን በተሰበ ሙሉ የእናቶችን ቀን ምክንያት በማድረግ እዚ ፕሮግራም ብትካፈሉ ጥሩ ነው እዚህ ጋር ለመጨመሪያ ዲኬር ሰርቪስ አላቸው ልጆቻችን ይዛችሁ ሜድ ለምስፈልሁ እዛ ዲኬር ይሰጣሉ ሌላው ቀደም እዚህ ጋር መሳፍን ሲናገር ትንሽ ላይ ገባ የሚችለው ነገር ፓናል ዲስከሽን አለ ኪኖት ስፒከሮች ኖራቸዋል ፋሽን ሾው አለ የተለያየ ሙዚቃና ኢንተርቴይንመንቶች አሏቸው ኤን ሜ 17 ነው እና መሰግናለን ሰምና ወርቅ እንግዲህ አሁን ከዚህ በመቀጠል እኔ ትንሽ የጫፋ ስኳት ጾፍ አለች ኢትዮጵያና እናት የምትል እሷን አቀርብላችኋለሁ እንድትከታተሉኝ ባክብሮት ጋብዛለሁ 
la carva el lacho.